Back at CEO of the Rylander Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for coming in. And you're here to talk about the Up North Community Expo that's I coming am. up. Um, we're really excited. It is our first annual. We're going to say annual because we're going to do it every year. There we go. <laughs> but the first one ever, um, our Up North Community Expo, a, a business and community expo event being held this Thursday at the Hodeg Dome. Awesome. So, I mean, how did you come up with this? Because this is looking like it's turning out to be a pretty big event. It is. Um, we have seen some expo models mm -hmm. that we really liked, and we used to, um, pre-COVID, hold a home show. So what we did is we modified the event, and what we tried to do was make it more inclusive. And by doing that, um, it's not just one type of business or industry. Mm -hmm. um, it's an open to nonprofits. It's open to anybody. And it's also open to anybody in a seven-county region. Um, so we didn't just want it to be Rhinelander. We wanted to go outside those boundaries and um, in multiple counties and, and entities are participating. It's going to be exciting. It's seven counties. I know we were talking earlier. You go into Price County. You have some yep. from Iron County. Yep. And then all around, it's just, you know, they're really taking a drive to come to see the dome and they kind are. of share with us. Yes, and we have 74 um, businesses 74. as of yesterday. <laughs> um, we might even get a few more. So um, we're excited about that. For being year one of an event, that's a, a pretty, pretty good draw. And um, we hope that we see lots of people that will come in, check it out. It's a great opportunity to network. So we're kind of telling businesses, like, let your employees on their lunch break or or a for a couple hours in the afternoon to come over and, and visit with us and network with all of the entities that are in the center. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. It's a good thing to, you know, get out and see who's out there, you know, young professional, you know, of all ages. It's, yeah. it's an exciting time. And there's even an after, after hours. hours. Yes. <laughs> um, the Expo After Hours event um, is going to be held at the Roman Cinema, mm. and there, um, all of the food and beverage type businesses that wanted to participate will be there. Um, so we will have the Brewing Company and the Three Lakes Winery there, as well as different food vendors. Um, if you had a booth at the Expo, you can get a couple entries for free, otherwise it's just $10. Um, and it's a great opportunity to network, and then we'll also be doing a mini award ceremony because yeah. we're oh. giving away three prizes to the oh. different booths. Love prizes. Um, so it's it'll be a fun little event and a great opportunity to come and, again, network. That's the main driving force of why we're doing this. So is it too late if someone wants to get a booth now? Is it too late or do they still have time to? It's not too late. We've been sneaking <laughs> them in last minute. Um, we just took a couple more yesterday. Um, so we'll, we can try to do everything we can to get them included. Um, so not too late. Otherwise, starting on March 2nd, we will start taking registrations for 2024. So wow. Oh, it, so you're already planning for oh, yes. next year. Yes. And the pricing um, for booking a booth in 2020 for 2024, the best time to do it will be March of this year. It'll be the cheapest. So. Gotcha. Thinking ahead. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, good planning. Obviously, as yeah. a CEO of a Chamber <laughs> of Commerce here, I mean, you, it, it's, it's evident that you have that ability, especially with the Rylander Gala that just wrapped up in January. Yes. We were at that, and it was yes. a fantastic event that you put together there. It was so fun. Um, we're definitely doing that again next year, <laughs> and um, we're starting to think ahead because next year is our 100th anniversary as the Rhinelander Area Chamber oh, of Commerce. Oh, yes. that's going to be a big one. So we're trying to make it a little bit wow. a little bit more exciting, <laughs> even though it is already an exciting event. Um, so we're excited. I, now I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited, too. I, I don't know years? how I'm going to wait yes. for a year. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, we hardly ever get to celebrate a 100-year yes. anniversary of yeah. anything. This is... it'll, be, it'll be a fun year. We're going to kick it off at the gala, but we'll continue with some different special things. Exactly. Tomorrow. Another yeah. expo next year. Yep. Yes. <laughs> well, fantastic. So the expo is going to be this Thursday, March 2nd, for people yep. to come out, network, get to know the community. And what time is that going to be starting at? Uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Hodeg Dome. Mm -hmm. And then the Expo After Hours is 5 to 7 at the Roman Cinema. Beautiful. And then if people want to contact you to learn more, get a booth, or just learn about what's going on at the Chamber, what's the best way to do that? Yeah. Um, we just launched a new website, ryanlanderchamber.com. Oh. Um, so check out our new website. You can find info on there or give us a call at the office. Well, fantastic. Awesome. Thanks for coming on, Lauren. Yeah, we really so appreciate much. it. Sounds exciting. Thank you. I think, think we'll have to go. Yes, we'll probably see you out there <laughs> on Thursday. Sounds good. Yes. And coming up, we are just a day away from March, two days from the expo. But find <laughs> out how you can get into the St. Patrick's Day spirit.
But first, Howard is in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for Boston cream pie poke cake. 